everybody, welcome to Simple Happy Homesteading. I'm Jenna and today we are going to do another real, real quick uh, chocolate covered strawberry video. And this is because we're gonna use this Dolce Frutta and we're gonna introduce Ghirardelli melting wafers. Now I had a bunch of people message in, well, I had one person message in, but that one subscriber is like a bunch of people. Um, that's how much I love each and every one of you. So anyways, I had somebody ask me how exactly the melting wafers on the Dolce Frutta work. And so I'm gonna show you real quick, this is, I think this is easier than even the chocolate chips because you get a smoother shell, a thinner shell, and it uses less chocolate, um, but it's a little bit more expensive. Although I guess if it uses less chocolate, you can do more strawberries. So it probably all comes out even in the wash after all is said and done, I don't know. But we are going to do the Dolce Frutta and the same concept with the Ghirardelli chocolates. So I'm gonna show you the Dolce Frutta. These are actually little melting wafers. And I'm going to show you two. I had one left over from before and it had already melted and I just saved it because I hadn't used all the chocolate. And so I saved it in the same container and I'm going to melt that with this other one and combine it and then just save any leftover. And you just save them in the cupboard, not in the refrigerator. You don't put this chocolate in the refrigerator ever. And so I'm going to show you how we do that. And then I've got an extra surprise thing at the end that you are going to love. So stay tuned all the way to the end, even if you've done the chocolate covered strawberries before and you're so over it and you don't want to even do chocolate covered strawberries, I have got a super cool surprise thing right at the end. Now, first thing we have to do is melt this chocolate. Say it with me, folks, 30 seconds at a time, no longer than 30 seconds without stirring and then putting it in for another 30 seconds. So let's get this chocolate melted. So I put these in for 30 seconds, and you're gonna see I'm gonna stir. You can see just starting to melt on the bottom. But I'm gonna get those bottom ones up. There we go, just do a little stir. And I also put this other one in that was saved from last time. You can see it's already starting to melt a little bit better. So I'm gonna stir that up as well. And I'm gonna put this both in, these both in I should say, for 30 more seconds. Alright, so as you can see, this one, the one that was already used and just stuck back in the cupboard, it is melted. I'm just going to keep stirring to get all the lumps out. That was two 30 second intervals and that's completely melted. And we're going to go to this one and just see if we need to stick this back in. Okay, see how melted that is at the bottom? So we do not need to go another full 30 seconds on this one. I'm going to go 15 seconds on this one and then we're going to combine this one in with this. So I'm going to go 15 seconds. I could probably stir this all up till it got smooth, but we're going to give it a 15 second burst. Okay, 15 seconds and that is perfect. Still a little lumpy, but that's okay. We're going to stir that and it's going to get nice and smooth. So what we're going to do is combine this one into here, get all that chocolate in. And what I used to like to do, I still, well, he still likes to do it a little bit. I used to give Jackson these straight pretzels. He's my chocolate lover. I used to give him these straight little, the matchstick pretzels and give him this empty chocolate container and he'd take those pretzels and scrape out literally every last bit of chocolate. There we go, look at that, clean. Well, not Jackson clean, but. So now I'm gonna stir this. You can see there's still a few little lumps we're just gonna keep stirring until it becomes smooth. And if you wanna push it up against the side, sometimes that helps the lumps go. But that heat of that chocolate is gonna melt all those lumps. And the fact that we didn't overcook it prevents it from scalding and burning. Burnt chocolate is the worst. And there's no way to save burnt chocolate. That's the, that's the problem. There's no way to save burnt chocolate. There we go, smooth as silk, nice. And that took literally one minute and 15 seconds. All right, so we already have our strawberries washed and completely dry. They've been sitting out on this paper towel for about 10 minutes. So they are completely dry, dry, dry. I dried them and then put them on the paper towel. So what we're gonna do is we're going to simply dip and put on wax paper. So, oh, look at that strawberry. So we're gonna take and dip. And with this chocolate, it's a little thinner shell, but I still drag it along the end there, the, edge and it just gives it a little shelf to kind of sit on and no one looks at the bottom of the strawberry anyways so it saves some chocolate for me too there we go and just scrape it along the side there oh these look delicious 
Yum! And they have white chocolate as well. Dolce Frutta and the Ghirardelli has the white melting chips. So if you want to do white, or if you want to do those infamous tuxedo strawberries, they've got white melting chocolate too, which is delicious. And same exact concept, folks. You have Thanksgiving coming up. You are really going to wow your family if you make a plate of chocolate-covered strawberries, and you don't have to tell them it took you five minutes. We should have set a timer. No, because then I would have been all nervous going against the clock. But I figure, what, five seconds per strawberry? And we just did a whole container of strawberries here. If you just need to scrape this, you can scrape it down to get that little pool of chocolate to keep dipping. It works well. And I also think this Dolce Frutta also um, stays liquid a little bit longer. It's a little bit more forgiving with your time. The chocolate chips, you know, just the regular Nestle or whatever brand chocolate chips, sometimes uh, gets harder a little quicker. All right, and for all you non-dairy folks, there is Enjoy Life chocolate chips. And these are dairy-free and so good for melting. They can melt perfectly fine and cover chocolate-covered strawberries as well. So if you have a dairy-free issue uh, where you, or dairy allergy issue where you can't do dairy, you still have hope for chocolate-covered strawberries. And if you have a relative coming for Thanksgiving that has a dairy allergy, oh my goodness, they will love you because they probably haven't had a chocolate-covered strawberry in forever because chocolate's off off limits uh, most of the time for dairy allergy folks. So are we ready for the surprise? Okay, so this is so cool. White fudge covered Oreos. Oh my goodness, white fudge covered Oreos are seasonal. You cannot get them all the time. Um, and it is the season right now. I think around Christmas time they start coming out because they look like winter. But these white fudge Oreos are so good. So we're gonna take those out. We're gonna put a couple on a plate right here. So oh my goodness, this is so exciting for me. And I don't know why I'm so, I just, I'm excited. But, um, and we'll get back to those strawberries in a minute because we're going to fancy up those in a minute. So we are going to hole our strawberries. Uh, we have a couple strawberries left over, so we're going to hole probably, well, just one strawberry for two cookies. So one strawberry for two cookies. So to hole a strawberry, you just take a knife, a little paring knife or something, and you just go around that stem down, and look at that. You have a perfectly holed strawberry. And then we're going to slice this bad boy in half. Look at that. And we're going to place the halves each on one of those cookies. And then we have a little bit of this chocolate left. So, of course, we're going to get our wonderful Ziploc bag right there. And we're just going to put like a little spoonful of chocolate in this Ziploc bag. Just a spoon. We don't need more than a spoonful. Um, a little bit goes a long way, even if you're doing a whole package of cookies. So we're going to get this. And this is a good way to get the spoon cleaned off. Okay, there. We're going to seal up our bag and then we're going to make this a piping bag by simply where's my scissors we're going to make this a piping bag by simply nipping off the corner and you want this one a very small little cut so it's a very fine drizzle so okay are you ready mm, yum 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 yeah if you want to do them on wax paper you can or you can just do them right on the plate so we're just going to drizzle chocolate over the strawberry and over the cookie. Oh, there we go. Look at those. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Those are, that's my trick. That's my tip. That's my trick. That's my little fancy thing. And if you want, you can put a little dollop. If you want to put a little dollop right there. Little dollop right there. It's just a little extra chocolate dollop. Little dollop right there. There you go. And now I look at this. I have extra chocolate in there that I don't want to waste because I'm a cheapskate. So I'm going to take my container back that I'm going to save that extra chocolate for the next time that I need to make chocolate covered strawberries. And I'm simply going to squirt this chocolate back in, look at that, just squirt that chocolate back into the container. Waste not, want not. To save this chocolate, I'm just going to stick this back on and put it back in the cupboard. And it, it, can save for, it can save for a couple more weeks um, back in the cupboard, a month even, uh, back in the cupboard. So that's no big deal. So, okay, those chocolate-covered strawberries on the cookies are done. And those, you can make a bunch of them. The only thing is those strawberries, because you cut them open, that juice is going to go on the cookie a little bit. So try to make those up right before you serve them. Um, don't let them sit more than like an hour. Otherwise, they're going to make uh, that fudge underneath the strawberry get a little bit gooey. Um, and so, but they're so easy to make that you could do that in two seconds right before you serve them. 
so that's not a big deal, especially if you get a little bit of help. So we are going to make our strawberries fancy. We want to get these guys fancy again. So once again, just our, and this is, you know, this is from the other video too. It's really easy. The just simple white chocolate chips, or you can get um, the melting wafers, Ghirardelli. And once again, these Ghirardelli melting wafers, look at that. They most of the time it's dark chocolate. These are seasonal as well. And so right now Sam's Club has them on sale for $7.33 for a huge, almost two pound bag, one pound, 14 ounces bag. That is the steal of the century. Amazon can't beat that. Um, and I don't know of many other places that can. You buy a bunch of them now and those can store in your cupboard for like forever. The expiration date is actually quite long on those. And so stock up now because they don't have them all year long. They have them seasonally. So they're in the store right now. So I'm gonna melt these white chocolate chips, 30 seconds each burst and stir, stir, stir after each 30 seconds. And let's make these chocolates covered strawberries fancy. So the first time that you stir, it's not going to look like they melted hardly at all, but still stir and get those bottom ones off the bottom and kind of up a little bit. Always stir. Yeehaw! So that was another 30 seconds. We're just going to stir until that's smooth. It doesn't take long and it is smooth. And then once again, we are going to stick this white chocolate in our Ziploc bag and go ahead and get the freezer Ziploc bags. Sandwich or quart work fine. I don't think they make freezer sandwich ones actually. So get the freezer quart bags. Those are a little thicker. And with this chocolate being hot, I've had in the regular sandwich bags, I've had them explode before because the chocolate kind of melts that plastic. And um, I ended up with chocolate all over my hands, which in the grand scheme of things, not that big a deal because that's yummy. So. So we have our white chocolate in our Ziploc bag. We're gonna snip, where are my scissors? We're gonna snip the very end. Once again, I want a really fine drizzle. So we're just gonna snip the very end. And then we're gonna get this down to the end and we are going to drizzle some strawberries. And I just kinda like to start off a strawberry so that the first drizzle is not glopped on a strawberry. Once again, super quick, back and forth. And if you need to lift up a strawberry just to get the end, cause it's kinda concave, do that. Look at that huge strawberry. You run the risk of getting the leaves off when you pick them up though, so be careful with that. If you want to fancify these a little bit more, I guess we can put some white on here too. There you go folks, literally chocolate covered strawberries in five minutes using our Dolce Fruta and the Ghirardelli Melting Wafers, wafers work exactly the same way. So um, yeah, and just get like a dish about the size. It's a, it's a good dish. Or if you want to melt them in a coffee cup to dip them in that way, you can too. So there you go. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.